Hello friends, there are three fundamental parameters of traffic flow, speed, flow and density and these are interrelated with each other by a fundamental relation q is equal to k into v. In this relationship k is the density, density is measured over space and measurement of density is always considered to be challenging because it requires photography from a reasonable height so that you can cover a considerable length of the highway and then count the number of vehicles. Now this gives you instantaneous density. Now there are few surrogate measures of density and one of them is time occupancy and another is area occupancy. Today in this session, we shall discuss these two surrogate measures of traffic density that is time occupancy and area occupancy and how we determine these parameters and how it can be converted into density. First is time occupancy. Time occupancy is the proportion of time during which detection zone is occupied by vehicles. Let us say these are the loops of a detection zone and a vehicle is arriving here like this and then after some time it clears the detection zone, it reaches to this position. Now this is the length of the vehicle. And this is the spacing between loops, let us say C, of a detector. Now this detector can be automatically laid on a road or it can be made on the road through a trap length. Now the time taken by this vehicle from the front bumper on the first loop to the rear bumper on the next loop, that is the time taken by this vehicle to clear the detection zone or you can say this is the occupancy time of this particular vehicle. So time occupancy TO is summation of TI upon capital T, I is equal to 1 to N. So if you take the time taken by N number of vehicles to clear the detection zone that is your TI summation of all these ti value divided by total time of observation that is time occupancy. Now as you can see here this time occupancy is very sensitive to length of the vehicle and this becomes important in mixed traffic conditions where you have vehicles of different lengths and therefore it is important to determine the average effective length of the vehicle and that average effective length of the vehicle L is given by this equation Li into Pi upon 100. I again, I is 1 to let us say J. J is the number of vehicle categories in the traffic stream. Let us say if you have two categories of the vehicles, car and bus, car and heavy vehicle, then I is 1, 1 for car and, J, and 2 for heavy vehicle. If you have n number, j number of categories, then this will be length of i type vehicle multiplied by its proportion, that is percentage, plus length of the next category of the vehicle multiplied by its proportion in the traffic stream, that is the average effective length. Let me take one small example. An example is that during a period of one minute, a detector is occupied by four vehicles, by four vehicles and the time taken by each vehicle to pass this detector zone are recorded by the detector and these are like this 0.38 second, 0.4 second, 0.32 second and 0.52 second. Let us say loop detector length is 3 meter and length of the 
vehicle average length of the car is 6 meter. So, first find out what is the total time taken by these four vehicles in the reduction zone. So, summation of Ti will be 0.38 plus 0.4 plus 0.32 plus 0.52 that is 1.56 second. So, time occupancy, time occupancy will be total time 1.56 divided by total time that is 1 minute 60 second multiplied by 100 and this is equal to 2.6 percent. 0 0.026 is the time occupancy. 2.6 percent time this detector or the loop remains occupied by the vehicle. And if you want to find out density k, then density is given by time occupancy divided by length of the vehicle plus length of the loop or detector multiplied by 1000 because it is in meter L and C. So, multiplied by 1000. Time occupancy is 2.6 divided by 3 plus 6 that is 9 multiplied by 1000 that is 288 vehicles per kilometer that is the density hypothetical case very hypothetical case how to find out density from time occupancy now here we took four vehicles and all four vehicles were car if you have mixed traffic if you have mixed traffic let us take another example where you have mixed traffic and you do not have the detectors on the road but you make a trap on the road of let us say 30 meter make a trap on the road and this length can be anything I assume 30 meter should be as large as possible and you find out how much time a vehicle remains in this trap of 30 meter. So, let us say you again make a count for one minute and in one minute you find that there are five vehicles, one car and it takes 1.87 second to cross this trap, two, two wheeler, motorized two wheeler and one of them take let us say two second, another one takes 1.68 second, then one bus take 2.4 second to cross this trap and one three wheeler and it takes 2.18 second. What is the density? How much is the density on the road? What is the flow? There are five vehicles, one, two, three, four, five, five vehicles which are counted in 60 seconds. So, flow naturally is 16 to 5 that is 300 vehicles per hour. Now, if you find out the total time here, total time that is Ti, summation of Ti, summation of Ti is sum of all these values and that is 10.13 second. And therefore, time occupancy is 10.13 divided by 60 that is your observation time multiplied by 100 and this gives you 16.9 percent or 0 0.169. Now, you need the length of the average effective length of the vehicle to calculate the density and here because the vehicles are of different sizes. So, you need to find out the average length, average length will be given by this equation upon 100. Li is the length of the first category of vehicle multiplied by its proportion in the traffic history. So, let us take that the car length 4.1 meter, two wheeler length of two wheeler is 1.8 meter, 10.2 meter and 3.2 meter. Let us say these are the length of individual vehicle. So, 
average when you take average of these because there is only one car, one bus, one three wheeler and two two wheelers. So you can add one more here 1.8. Take the average of this. So average of this will be 4.22 meter. Now this is the average length of traffic of the vehicle in the traffic stream. And therefore the density K will be time occupancy multiplied by 1000 divided by C plus L. Time occupancy is 0 0.169 multiplied by 1000. C 30 meter, L 4.22 meter. So that makes 34.22 meter. And this is equal to 4.94 vehicles per kilometer. Around 5 vehicles per kilometer. That is the density. If you want to find out what is speed, speed will be L plus C upon average time. Average time of all these five vehicles. L is 30 meter and the length of the vehicle is 4.22 meter divided by 10.13 divided by 5, 5 vehicle. That is the average speed 16.89 meter per second or 60.8 kilometer per hour. And when you know K, when you know the speed flow will be K into V that is 60.8 multiplied by 4.94 300 300 vehicles per hour that is how we find out the density using the surrogate safe, surrogate measure of time occupancy this method of time occupancy requires estimation of average length of the vehicle and it is very sensitive to the average length of the vehicle because the speed is sensitive to average length of the vehicle. And second is that it should be noted that the time, occupancy time is taken from the front bumper to the rear bumper. That is the time during which this trap is occupied by a vehicle. The second measure, the second surrogate measure of density is area occupancy. And area occupancy is considered to be better than density or time occupancy because it considers the speed also, it considers the traffic composition also. Area occupancy is defined in a similar manner as time occupancy. Only difference is now you take the area rather than length, we take the area of the vehicle. So if this is a road, and you make a trap here of length L. This road is occupied by vehicles of different sizes. Then the area occupancy is proportion of the area of a road which remains occupied by the vehicle. That is AI TI summation multiplied or divided by T into A. In time occupancy, we took only summation of T i upon T. Now area is also into picture. Area, this is the area of the first vehicle, area of second vehicle, area of third vehicle, area of fourth vehicle. And let us say the first vehicle takes time T1 to cross this trap. Second vehicle takes time T2 to cross this trap. And similarly, so this is the summation of AI into TI divided by total time period of observation multiplied by area of this trap. So if this is W, then this will be L into W. This is area occupancy. And once you know area occupancy, you can find out the density. Density by this method is area occupancy multiplied by road width that is W divided by 
एवरेज एरिया ऑफ द वहीकल एवरेज साइज ऑफ द वहीकल अगेन इंपॉर्टेंट इज टू कैलकुलेट दिस एक्यूरेटली सो वी अगेन टेक द सेम एग्जाम्पल लेटर से दैट ए काउंट इज मेड ऑन ए ट्रैप ऑफ लेटर से थर्टी मीटर and this is let us say 3.5 meter single lane road and you get five vehicles and they take time as given here same example now instead of length of the vehicle we shall consider area of the vehicle and let us say the area area of a car is 5.36 meter square of a two wheeler it is 1.2 meter square another two wheeler 1.2 meter square a bus has let us say 24.5 meter square and a three wheeler 4.4 meter square these dimensions you can find from indo highway capacity manual also or you can measure typical dimensions in the field but again i would emphasize that these must be accurately recorded for each category of the vehicle and if there are within within the same category you have the vehicles of different sizes better to take average of few category of the cars or few category of the three wheelers from this you find out what is the area occupancy area occupancy is summation of ai into ti now this is ai this is ti so find out what is ai and multiplied by ti let us do it here a i t i so 5.36 multiplied by 1.87 that is 10.02 1.2 multiplied by 2 2.40 one2 multiplied by 1.68 2.02 and so on so in total sum here total sum here is 83 meter square so area occupancy will be summation of a i t i divided by t into a this is 83 time is 1 minute 60 second a 30 into 3.5 30 into 3.5 that is 0.0132 0.0132 or you can say 1.32 percent that is the area occupancy and once you know area occupancy you can find out the density density is given by this area occupancy 0.0132 multiplied by road width 3.5 meter divided by average size of the vehicle average size of vehicle is again average of these five values average size will be 7.348 meter square so put 7.348 meter square here multiply by 1000 this gives you 6.28 vehicles per kilometer that is the density so that is how the concept of time occupancy and area occupancy are used to find out the density thank you very much for watching this video write your suggestions